distinguished graduate student. He's not only an excellent master student, he also become a young scholar, co-author in a book with uh, Dr. Adelaida del Castillo, organizing a national conference on campus. He taught in our department. Um, he's writing an interesting thesis that contributes to the creation of a new area of the studies with Chicano studies. He has been uh, he has been admitted in the PhD program in UCSD. Congratulations, Hibran. And um, here's a certificate of academic distinction for your achievements as a young scholar in Chicano Chicano studies. Congratulations. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, I'd like to take time to honor everyone here, family, friends, um, loved ones, lovers. Um, and um, also take the time to just give a little bit of palabra. Um, I'd like to say that I am the first queer out Puerto Chicano in this department. So thank you, but uh, I'm not hopefully the only one. Um, also, I'd like to take time to honor and recognize other individuals who were part of that movement, who also held compassion. Arturo Islas, Gil Cuadros, John Benchy, queer Chicanos that are always overlooked within the discipline okay. and the literature. So to reclaim those uh, names, especially the mujeres who bear witness and saw the past from violence, HIV, AIDS, right? Because these are our brothers. These are our sons, right? These are our fathers and sometimes even uncles and deals. So recognize that and make homage to that. And like that. that way I learned I shouldn't have gone out to the person, right? Because uh, I was wearing my So um, that's why I worry my mom. Um, yeah, she gets something, she's my case. But also to honor my mom and recognize her. Uh, because she's a single mother who holds it down like all the women in this faculty, right? Who tirelessly like gives a hundred and ten percent and my brother and my family's here, um, who's away and my godmother, um, who's present here. As the writer Crystal says, my dad are with me here today. So honor them and pay homage today. I'd also like to end with um, with a poem by Yosima Reyes, a fierce vota from San Jose. Uh, and I, I want to cite her because if this goes on YouTube or something and he finds out I didn't cite it, he's going to be mad. So, I'll begin. We have written endless poems about sorrow, poems honoring the deaths of our sisters and brothers, from Gwen, Ar from Gwen Arapa to Sequia Gunn, from Lawrence King to Ruby Rodriguez. These poems have already been written. And it is such a shame that whenever we are called upon to honor the lives of our prophets, they are already in coffins. Because too often they have placed their hands on us, brutalized our bodies, and demonized our spirits. Too often they have taken it upon themselves to silence our tongues, hunted our skins, celebrated the deaths of our kings and queens, pushed us back into closets, built borders and fences, disconnected our spirits from the sacred. But it is undeniable that the queer spirit is resilient. For we have survived for centuries without proper recognition. Written in land is that fact that we have existed since the beginning because we were born prophets, carrying legacies and histories in our own bodies. It is our speech sacred wind that blows as a reminder that we are still present, alive, and thriving. You stand as living proof that our sexualities are just natural as the flowers bloom. You are heaven sent, anointed prophet, reflection of God, of heavens and stars. You are the reason why brown boys like me to pick up a pen, why trans teens walk proudly across school hallways. This poem is for you. This is for what you represent. For all the times you felt caged and bled your feelings on a page. For every insult disrespecting your name. This is for you. Because we have broken through. Armed with your truth, you are helping paint the world the color of rainbows, and we thank you. You are ancestry and progress, leaving, um, leaving blueprints from future queer babies to build with. You are inspiration, testimony to the fact that we have traveled so many roads across different borders. We are here, Mommy, chanting to your names as a community. Go. You are a movement, like oceans and suns, you are picture perfect. Butterfly wings, you are a fly. This poem is for you and for what you represent. To young girls who love the taste of femininity on their lips, colored voice prefers the arms of men to clothe their bodies with. These words are sacred medicine for every bruise, for every broken spirit, every suicide thought. This is a kiss planted on neck, a protest sign in every march, a melody in every chant. This is for us, because we made it. Across those troubled waters, we have made this our home. Found unity and strength in our voice, because too often we have written poems about sorrow, poems about the slain of our sisters and brothers. Too often we have brought flowers to their memory, 
washed away blood from pavement. But tonight, we bring those spirits song. Offer poems and prayers for healing. This is ceremony for warriors. We offer you blessings. We rejoice in your names. With head, hands towards the heavens, we say, blessed be the day creator gifted you with your duality. We have written endless poems about sorrow. But starting today, we start right about our smiles, about the way we dance in defiance. Hold each other near and craft a new drum. Sing a new song. You are our legacy, a prophecy, a dream come true. Tonight, we celebrate the fact that you're holding it down for a tribe of people that will never, ever surrender. So take these words and place them in your medicine bag. And remember that in whatever road you take, we got your back. You already give it an anointing. So the only truth you must follow is your own. Also graduate with distinction. Okay, so we are going to move before we go to the also graduate with distinction. We are going to ask.